Generally, once I've placed my mountains onto my maps, I get around to placing rivers onto them. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can place rivers onto your maps. Obviously, you can use the default river tool here. You can also manually draw them in yourself. For this exercise, we're actually going to manually draw on our rivers. The first thing to do is to change the style sheet where our river is going to be placed. So I'm going to click on the status bar sheet selector and I'm going to look down to find rivers front. Perfect. That's the one I want. Clicking on this box here will make that the active sheet. As you can see now, the sheet that is active is the rivers front. I'm also going to change our layers as well. And I'm going to make that into water and rivers as well. Again, selecting it here, make it active. I've got auto save on. It's asking me if I want to save. I'm going to say yes, absolutely. Okay. I'll just refresh the drawing there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is change the color. I'm going to make the default color into a good strong blue color and click on OK. Now even though I've changed the color, if you've noticed, I have not changed the fill style. So when I draw a line, or anything for that matter, it would still be land light green. So I'm going to click on that and instead of selecting to have it as a bitmap file fill, I'm going to want what's called a brush pattern. Basically brush patterns are straight color fills and I'm going to select the solid fill here. Okay, I'm all set to draw some lines. The question then becomes one of how do I draw a line? To do this I'm going to use these tools down here. Specifically I'm going to use a smooth path. Click on the smooth path tool and then move your mouse into where you would like to start your river. Let's start one up in these great mountains here. Unfortunately, I'm finding it very difficult to get a nice close view here. In order to help me, I'm going to click on the zoom panel and get a good close up. There we go. I'll come back, I'll click on our smooth line tool here and I'm going to start drawing. A nice curved river. And I want it to come to the to touch just the edge here. Now, one of the problems when you're drawing lines, particularly things like rivers, is trying to figure out how do I make it attach to the coast? I don't want to leave it hanging out in the ocean. I don't want it to fall too short. I want it to be perfect. Well, to do this, you can use these modifier tools here. This one in particular is good, which is called the on modifier, which means that it will snap to the nearest line. So I'm going to click the on pattern here, and I'm going to want it to be just in on the cove in there, and then right click to finish. There's our river. Uh oh, we forgot to do something. Actually, I forgot to do it on purpose. What I wanted to show you is that when we drew our line, it is possible to create an error and draw a line too small or a shape in the wrong size or whatever. In this particular case we've drawn a line but the width of the line is zero meaning it will print a hairline, it will print as small as the screen is capable of printing. It's still a real line, it's just infinitely small, infinitely narrow. In order to change that we're going to use this wonderful little tool here which is called the Change Properties button. You click on it and then you move your mouse over to the object that you want to change and you can select multiple objects when doing this and then click on it. Down here you'll see in the selected you'll see in the um, command line you'll see that selected entries is one so we have just got our line here and it's turned white for us. You then left click I'm sorry you then right click and go do it. This will bring up a properties box. We can see that our layer is water and rivers. Our color is this nice rich greeny blue color. Our line, our line style is solid, fill style is solid. That's all good. This is our problem, line width. So click on the line width to make that selected. And let's make our line width say, let's make it 0.75.
1.75 miles. Our sheets are correct, everything else is correct. Click on OK. Voila! Now we've got a nice river. Let's add a few more rivers, but we don't want to make the same mistake. So you can click on the line width element here in the status panel and make that 0.75, or specifically 0 0.75, and then click on OK. Now watch happens next time we draw a line. I'm going to click on the smooth path again, and I'm going to draw a river from in here, coming down, and let's make it join this river here. In order to make it join on the line, we could use the on button there. Click on it pretty good. Let's now create another river. Again, smooth path. We'll draw a river from here. And we'll connect it to the coastline with the on button. Connect it right there. Yep, I want to save my work. That's looking good so far. Let's ex zoom out. Wonderful. We'll create another river over the other side. Obviously, rivers don't just flow down towards the viewer of a map. So we'll start this one here, 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 and we need our on function. There you go, another river. We'll put a river on some of the other islands as well. Let's make a nice river come from this one. Click on on, into the bay there. That's probably all we need at this stage for rivers. Now the reason that I do the rivers and the mountains first is that they are really immovable. They're parts of the land mass. When you start to put cities and forests and other things around, they tend to be scattered around those very firm geological structures.